Hey there, welcome to another episode of the brand new G and La Sala show. And today we are going to do a very special live event um, featuring two of the Miss Universe El Salvador contestants. So first, uh, our first guest is currently studying as an environmental engineer. Wow. With extra (laughs) diplomas on circular economy sustainable design and she's also planning to get a master's degree on meteorological systems meteorology and environmental systems let us welcome miss universe el salvador la libertad 2022 leticia marroquin galliano there Exactly. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here with you, sharing this time with you. And nice to meet you guys that watch this live. <laughs> yes, and that is that's, that's quite a lot of, of bio right there in, like, in a paragraph. So anyway, our next guest is, uh, our second guest obtained a bachelor's degree in international stu- uh, business at the University of Texas. Wow. She also took modern psychology and Buddhism at the University of Princeton. And mind you guys, she helps her family business. Um, the details of that, uh, they do um, organic oils, you know, all of these things. DVD oil. Yes, for the well-being. And then runs and operates their family ranch. I want to visit that someday. Yes. And is also a model, obviously. So, ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Andrea Guajardo Sada. Alejandra. Un- Alejandra, sorry. Alejandra Guajardo. Oh my God, get in peace. <laughs> Alejandra Guajardo Sada, Miss Universe El Salvador, Cabanas 2022. Hi, Alejandra. Hello. I always get confused. Alejandra, Andrea. Alejandra, Alejandra. Okay. <laughs> First of all, first question, do you guys ever sleep with all of those achievements? Yes. Uh, <laughs> we need to. We need to <laughs> sleep. <laughs> so for a woman like you, Alejandra, who does all of those things, um, how do you manage your time? Well, actually, I'm a really good organized person. So for me, it's not a problem to do all of those things actually. I love to do a lot of things. I can't be like without doing anything. I can be just like sitting, you know, like I need to do something all the time. So I really like all of what I do. Um, yeah. I can relate to you. And how about you, Leticia? Letty, how did you manage to get all of those um, degrees? Um, can you tell us <laughs> briefly all about it? Yeah. Yes, it's the same with like Alejandra. I have to organize all my time, and uh, yeah, at the beginning of the of my day, yes, it's like a, okay, I wake up to my bed, I take a shower in a specific hours, okay, oh. and so yes, and I, I like to have notes, yeah, for the, all the things that I have to do in this day or tomorrow or the next week, yeah, and I think that organization is a principal thing in my day for get everything like um yeah my stories for example like uh, yeah. my model for real and this competition to my job and so yeah i have to organize <laughs> yeah I, I i do get that because i also do a lot of things i'm a vlogger i also minister in the church i'm a designer and uh do preaching a lot of I, i'm a lot of things in the lord so Okay, guys. So you're busy. Now, time. Very busy, <laughs> but also, <laughs> but I always have time for beautiful women like you. Oh. Uh, I always feel Thank so you. blessed. Uh, yeah, I always feel so blessed because the both of you are a manifestation of God's love, and there is a reason why He brought you to Miss Universe El Salvador, and it's to create change, really, and glorify Him as well. So, are you guys ready for the formal? Uh, question and answer. It's going to be very, very light. Um, nothing too serious, though. Are you guys ready? Yes, we are. Okay, so <laughs> anyone can answer first. Don't be shy. You can raise your hand whatsoever, but you can just really just be yourself here. Um, yeah, okay. First question. I'd like to get to know the both of you, Alejandra and Letty. 
What are you grateful for today? Okay, go first, Alejandra. Well, I'm grateful that I will. First of all, that I can, I have a chance that I get to see my family again. That mm. I'm here to talking to you, talking wow. to you, and uh, also everything that I'm grateful for. It's that um, I have the virtue to listen to people, and that I can help them a little bit. I can like sow a seed put a seed on them so I can help them in their lives with the with the little or a lot of experience that I have I'm wow that is beautiful that. yeah <laughs> yeah very beautiful and very purposeful too how about you Letty yeah I'm so grateful for well for this moment for this competition for my story for my family I think that I got I, I am so a grateful person and an emotional person too because when I grateful for something I'm coming to cry so oh my god <laughs> yes <laughs> and <laughs> yes and especially with my friends for with and for my friends and without my friends I think that I can't stay in, in, in this moment because they support me a lot and my mom and I think that my mom is watching this. Hi mom. I love Hi, you so mom. much. <laughs> and yeah, I'm so grateful for that. <laughs> well, if if you both will ask me, I'm grateful for the both of you today. I'm grateful for the Lord. Like I said, I've never imagined that, you know, I'd be in El Salvador technically, spiritually in El Salvador right now speaking to the both of you. And it's not every day, guys, that we get to have this chance, you know, to have an audience of two, right? So Two yeah. beautiful women, yeah. So, okay, second question. Okay, I, I know you might find this funny, but how does it, or I don't know uh, how you're going to take this question. How does it feel being an accomplished woman in today's time? How does it feel to be an accomplished woman? Who wants to go first? Okay. You want to mm-hmm. go first? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, you want to? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Alejandra, you can go first. Okay, yeah. um, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh, well, right now I don't feel I'm a hundred percent accomplished, but I I like the way I'm walking. I like the path that I'm going through, and I'm sure that if I keep uh, walking this way in the future, I will feel a hundred percent accomplished. I believe so too, because like uh, there's a verse in the Bible that if you persistently ask God for something, He will give it to you. So. Just keep on walking on that path, Alejandra. Okay, how about you, Letty? Um, how does it feel to be? Your bio is in- insane. So how do you feel being so accomplished? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that every every woman is accomplished in different areas, different ways. Yeah, for example, um, uh, engineering woman. Uh, well, a woman that sell some things that they have a uh, little restores or women that have a, a position in a marketplace i don't know in different areas every woman have a little thing a special little thing and there is an important character for everyone and yes. for the men too so yeah i think that the principal thing for accomplish is the spiritual uh, uh, spiritual things and empowering things too and empowerment and maybe that the first that identify every woman for fight every day uh, with the family with a job with the i don't know with the kids with with the sons maybe and so yeah that is the little point for important for me oh wow that is good because like uh um it's really i don't know how you guys would feel but because i'm a man but it also takes a lot of you know um it's tough also becoming uh, to be a woman you know that you have to take care of the kids to be to to defend for them you know it's not easy like kids are kids and they will grow old and they would have a different way of thinking right so i want to honor you both you're going to be good mothers good wives in the future And I know that you guys will love your future husbands and future families in the future. So I can see that in the both of you. So, okay. 
<laughs> You're welcome. So yeah, and sometimes <laughs> it's not necessary to get a big position for being a big woman. No, yes. it's a little position. Yeah, you can be that 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 type of woman that that type important woman and especially here in el salvador yeah <laughs> yes and before we proceed to the next questions we have a lot of love for the both of you coming from your fans in el salvador hi guys nice to meet hi. all of you i don't speak spanish but te amo te amo to all of you <laughs> yes <laughs> There's a little Spanish that I know. So anyway, okay, question number three. Um, okay, so you know, not everyone gets a revelation that they are capable of doing something, okay? So mm -hmm. what changed in your spirit or inner being when you realize or after realizing that you are a limitless person? Wow. Um, I think that I can um, make a change, but... And in my well, in my space with my friends, there you know that I am I am trying to be an environmental leader, and I am speaking a lot with the uh, climate change, uh, the um, sustainable, and uh, actually, well, I have my my organization, the Equity, yeah, oh, wow. and I yeah, and I am speaking a lot with the. Um, how can they take care about the environmental yeah because this is very important right now in the world and especially this position like a miss i think that i can my boat my voice sounds big big and um, yeah and i can i can transmit this message for the planet to take care of the planet and i think that's my my point for that question. <laughs> oh, wow. That is good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm speechless. How about you, Alejandra? Uh, what changed in your inner spirit or in your in your inner being when you realized that you're capable of doing anything? Well, uh, I felt free. And I think that each one of us puts your own limits. You put your own limit. So mm. if and uh achieve something then you can and i think that when you re when you realize that you you can do whatever you want in this life you can share that to people that are insecure and you can tell them that whatever they propose to do they can do it like they just need to believe in them because you put your own limits very good and the both of you being here right now it only means to say that you guys are unafraid to take risks and to put yourselves out there with the censorship of other people, right? So again, yeah. I want to honor your, your hearts, the both of you. So, okay, next question. What makes you unique? Tell, tell me, tell us, what makes you unique? <laughs> okay, well, uh, I think each one of us, you are unique, Letty is unique in every aspect. I think, uh, every single people has a gift so i think they need to develop that gift yes. and, and show it to the world because we are here to help people we are here to teach other people what what that gift is for you know so i think my gift is that i'm a self-confident person and i can teach a lot of people how to be self-confident and how to follow their goals, their dreams, and never, never give up because that's what I do. So I think that's my gift. And that makes Very good. Very yeah. good. Because not everyone has the gift, uh, Alejandra, you know? I mean, not everyone is as confident as you are. So may God bless your heart always in that gift that he gave you. How about you, Letty? What makes you unique? Yeah, well, I have two special things. The first one, well, I told you, I am a very emotional person. Yeah, and so I like to cry, okay? <laughs> I don't want to cry. Yes. If you, if you see me crying, yeah, I'm crying. And it's normal. That's me. And I am feeling, I, I am a person very empathy. Mm. Yeah, with, empathy, with everything, with it. In a special with animals, yes, with animals and with the kids. That's 
Oh, wow. The animals, with the kids, with the person, with the seniors person. Yeah, I am very mm. empathy. And I'm working for that. Yeah, I'm working for that. Actually, with the animals, with me, my career. Yeah, I'm working for that. And with my yes. uh, kids. Yeah, I work with kids with um, environmental education too. Uh, with my organization, yeah. And yeah, I think that I have two points important for me in that, in that case. <laughs> Wow, my heart is melting, you know, you, you both are really, really special. Yeah. I can just imagine how blessed your future husbands would be like. Because like, as a Christian man, we are we are going to be so blessed if we if the Lord will bring us to women who, who, who knows themselves or very desirable, but would never, ever compromise their values and uh, knows their value too, right? So, okay, next question. What makes you happy like i know that there's a lot going on in the world right now we are still in the middle of the pandemic and there's a war going on in the other side of the world hunger is still real people is still dying from hiv and aids what makes you happy despite all of these things wow the principal thing well my my I don't know. My complete family is my mom and my grandmother. And after the pandemic, yeah, it was a very, oh my God, nervous time. And in this moment I had with life, uh, my um, to my grandmother and my mom. Yeah, for that, it's very special to me. And I'm so happy for that. And also, I'm so happy for make things make different things every day and share this time with Ali with you with every person in this competition and yeah and also let me see yeah share time with the people and meet new people for me it's very special and I'm so happy for that <laughs> yeah that is true with the small things it really they really make the difference right um, it's not yeah. the money, it's really the relationships that you invest into. Yeah. So yeah, how about you, Alejandra? I love your name, Ale, Alejandra. It's so <laughs> spicy. Okay, Alejandra. <laughs> okay, Alejandra, what, what are you grateful for? I'm mean, sorry, what, are you, what makes you happy, rather? What makes you happy, yeah? Well, I think uh, life is full of sad moments, happy yeah. moments, angry moments. But when you overcome those sad moments, those angry moments, it's when you value those happy moments the most, when you're more conscious about it, and when you live it with the fullest, those happy moments. And you know that when those happy moments are, uh, well, they're not gonna be forever. So for me, that's what makes me happy. Remember all those um, difficult moments and live to the fullest the happy moments and be conscious be in the present oh wow that was so deep Alejandra wow <laughs> yeah you know what because like uh, earlier today I, I was really praying and I become became too emotional too like you let me I cried you know even if I'm working out I pray to God that's my only time to actually talk to God like intensely and you know during difficult times you're correct alejandra um the lord makes us recall the many times that he made us overcome difficult situations and um, it's really through those moments that you realize that hey we're here for a reason and we're here for a purpose and just like you both uh yeah you're here to make us all happy with your uh, beautiful heart and beautiful soul so Sorry, but I'm just really happy that the both of you are here. So, okay, last <laughs> question. Do we hear with that? Uh, thank you, thank you. Okay, last question for this getting to know light, you know, light okay. portion of the, of the of this interview. Okay, I haven't been to El Salvador. I haven't been to your side of the world. If I were to visit, I love to eat. Um, even if I'm so, f I'm not really f that fit. But even though I love to work out. But I also love to eat. So if the proportion of me working out is one, my food is two. So <laughs> if I go to El Salvador, uh, what delicacy would you want me to try? Um, I will say Nuegados. It's a 
really delicious delicacy here. And it's made of cassava dough and it's sweet, it's really sweet. Mm. And also it comes with this drink, uh, chilate. Mm -hmm. What it, it's called. And it's of uh, corn and it's hot, you drink it within with so whenever you come i'll make you try this and you oh i'm sure <laughs> I, I am a sweet tooth so oh. anything sweet yeah i do so I'll, I'll make you try a lot you will okay love okay but just the way you're you saying it alejandro it's already yummy <laughs> for the sound of it <laughs> okay how about you letty what would you make me try wow in Salvador, we have a lot of um, delicious gastronomy. And yeah. yeah, the pupusas is the principal thing. Okay? Mm. The pupusas and a special cheese pupusas. That's very, very delicious. But in, um, right? Well, in El Salvador, we have a candy. It's empinada. Try mm. to say that. Empinada. Empinada? Yes. Yes. The, the empinadas, oh my god, I love so much because is is this this size empinada, mm -hmm. like a circle with a uh, okay. yes it, with honey and so oh, it's very delicious the empinadas and the um, atoll but atoll de piñuela yes it's a pineapple it, oh, it's wow. like a pineapple cream yeah I can say that <laughs> yeah but. <laughs> Atol de piñuela, yes, is very delicious. And um, yeah, I, let me see. Yeah, because in El Salvador we have a lot of oh, delicious food. I love the food from my country. Yeah, and yeah. But I think well, the three things that I I, I told you, yeah, you can taste it, and you and you will like it. <laughs> yeah, by the sound of it again, Letty, I'm definitely going to enjoy it. I was about to say. <laughs> Uh, when I arrive in San Sal, you guys are in San Salvador, correct? So when I get there, uh, when I'm in oh, the no. airport, I live in San Salvador. Oh, ah, yeah. okay, sorry. So when I get yeah. there, meet me at the airport with all of the food, oh, and then we'll devour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, special. Well, in Santa Tecla, we have the Paseo del Carmen, and so oh. yeah, have a lot of re little restaurants, and yeah, we pr they prepare the best. Food in El Salvador, okay? Are you coming? Are you coming? Uh, yeah? I, I really would love to come because, like, you know. Tomorrow, um, please. <laughs> <laughs> most, of the, most of the blessings that the Lord has given me lately are from that side of the world, the Caribbean and Central America. And there's something about Latinas, the Lat Latina women, Latina, Latin women. I don't know, mm -hmm. I can just really relate to them. You know, I'm a very competitive, passionate, and loving person. And Latinas, they just give that, you know, spice and... You, you know what I mean, guys. So, I just love you all. Uh, and I'm really happy that I got connected to your country, El Salvador. So, I'm just really blessed. So, one last question before we go to the more serious one. This might sound weird, but how does it feel to be beautiful? Like the both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go first? <laughs> oh God. Well, I think first of all, uh, beautiful inside, it's the most important for me because at the end, the external is going to end, you know? Yes. When I get older. So, I think people should focus more on the inside of people because like I said, everything, nothing is forever and the external it's going to, to have an end. So what you need to focus it, it, in, in the personality, in what the person has to, to give to other people, what, what's the, the, the message. So that for me, it's beauty, the inside. Wow, thank you. Thank you, Alejandra. How about you, Letty? How does it feel to be beautiful? Wow. The empathy, the respect, the intelligence, 
the a beauty heart and a work heart these are complement for a, a real beauty and I think this this activities this competition for example is very important to say the people it's not the only external beauty yeah oh my god I hi take a picture yeah. for that oh no. um it's more important to to the essence to the spiritual and to can transmit this message this message to the old people in a special with a, uh, a little girls and a teenage girl yes <laughs> yeah that is true i agree with the both of you because you know um out of the abundance of your heart it really you know manifest in in your physical physical being so i pray that the lord will bless you with so much love from people and that so that you can also afford to love other people as well so okay so here we are we are now down to the a more serious side i crafted um three miss universe type questions so uh you can answer this there's no time limit you can express yourself you know in whatever way you want so are you guys ready Yes. Always ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. First question. Okay. If you are, if you were to create a law that will affect great change in the society, who would it be for, and why? Thank you for the question. Okay. <laughs> wow. In my position. I am an environmental leader and in a specific I I want to work on that topic and teach to the old people to the young people and special to the kids and we have to take care of pla of our planet yes of our of the animals of the nature and throw the environmental education and the principal education in every school in every job and every university we have to change we have the power to change this reality and i think and i want to be a role model in that aspect and i think that is not necessary to get a crown because in my position in this moment i can start to get to make this change in my world Wow, very good. Wow, impressive. Yay. Okay. <laughs> okay, how about you Alejandra? Same question. What would be that law and who would it be for? Okay, I would put a law that schools should teach kids how to grow their own food. Because I think that's that's the basics of life. You know, when we were uh, like billions of years ago, what? How do we get our food? We were like growing our own food, so I think that's really important, and that will solve a lot of problems because at the end, humans can stop uh, traveling, can stop buying material things, can stop having everything except eating. And I think that's really important, and that I think we need to make that a culture. And and it's not hard to grow your own food, you know. Like it's not. So I think I will put that law. Or... Oh, you should, and I definitely agree. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, aside from designing, talking to people, and just being a loving person, I don't know how to make my own food. I have somebody else to to make my food, but you know what? That is really good because like children nowadays are always you know in front of their phones in their in their computers, and they don't even know a single thing. You know, they don't even know how to wash the dishes, and more so plant you know make their own food, and that would make them better individuals because they would know um, the essence of hard work. Correct. So very very good. Gosh, okay, clap your hands for Alejandra. Yay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Second question. Okay, what part of history you wish just did not happen and why? Well, uh, for sure 
for war two because of the uh, more than 15 million people were killed and also the atomic bomb was was first used and obviously it was uh, uh, intended to like kill a whole country thank yeah. god it didn't kill the country of Japan. so i think that was like a horrible so, okay. yeah i agree because like uh the philippines became a battleground during world war ii and we were such a very beautiful country our uh, urban planning was very good it was supposed to be as beautiful as um i'm not saying that it's ugly now but the architecture was supposed to be that the same of san francisco or miami or argentina or even your country guys in central america right so yeah but i agree with you uh, alejandra it's world war ii it was uh, such a threat i actually after world war ii a lot of countries started to go down like for example one country that think of right now in Argentina it was one of the seven countries the best seven countries of the world and after World War II it went down mm -hmm. so a lot, of, a lot of countries had a lot of uh, I, we can't hear from you Alejandra okay okay there you go yeah uh, it was sorry Okay, it's okay. Okay, I agree, I agree. Okay, how about you, Letty? Um, what part of history just you just wish that didn't happen? Wow. Well, in El Salvador, we have a lot of history. Yeah. And... Let me see. 30, 31 years ago, yeah, we, we had a, a war. And yeah, this war... Oh my God. Um, well, I recommend you a movie. It's uh, Innocent Voices. Well, in Spanish, mm -hmm. it's Innocent Voices. Uh, yeah, you, you watched that movie? No, I haven't, but I will oh. I will ask you for the title and I will watch it afterwards. Yeah. Okay, well, in, in that movie, and show you show you a little part of the country of the world in, in El Salvador. In... Yes, in oh my god, there is a very emotive, emotive event because a lot of people um leave this country or died for the for the uh, government positions, militaries in every position right here. And the most important, the most well, the the area, the area the most affected area it was the kids yeah the kids and wow in oh my god the kids the senior people and actually to for today for that war it is people that disappear in that in in that time of in that in that light of time and I think it, the war, the worms, is not necessary for a uh, take control for own, for a country, and I believe in a in a conversation, a negotiation, and any different political political mind, political situation, we can make the change and we can work together for a better for for a better future. Yes, and El Salvador. Yeah, I say that El Salvador had a little, a little, a, a lot of history, and I hope in the future uh, can make the things different. You know. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Cause like, uh, uh, wars or the pan or pandemics or anything bad is really just out of uh, human beings' selfish motives, and we never learn. You know. So I hope <laughs> that in the future. Uh, these things don't happen anymore so before we move forward there are fans of alejandra asking you to check your audio um can you yeah. hear can you hear us alejandra yes yes it's because my my dad was calling me oh, <laughs> oh okay <laughs> hi dad i'm so sorry to keep it to keep alejandra <laughs> with us for a meantime <laughs> okay so okay next um second to the last question okay this would be very very personal and just what your 
Yes. Are you are you good now, Alejandra? Okay. Uh, Call me, but I keep like counseling. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So, Dad, please do watch this IG live first before I call Alejandra. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So. All right. So this one's very personal, and I, and you could be very vulnerable here. Um, if you were to ask God one thing for someone else, who would it be for? What would it be, and why? Okay. Um. Well. Uh, it, oh, oh my God! You go. You go. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> in personal way, um, my relationship with with God is like my best friend. Yeah, it's like, a, hey God, I need your help. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, God. Yeah, I, I am doing bad things, and wow, my conversations with Him. It's every day, in, in especially every night, and always is for grateful for this day, for tomorrow, for the next week. And my question, maybe, maybe be, um, God, where is my goal in this life, or maybe where is my my. Let me see. Well, my my motive, my motive to be here. Why is my my my? Mm, oh my God! Why is my 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 Your objective? Yeah. Objective, yeah. yes. Yeah. Why is my objective with with this with this competition, with my career, with my my friends, with an with a new people that I I in in one day I, I will meet and. And also for that is God, give me the force, give me the fight, give me the power to doing the things the, in a better way, in the best way. And always in, in independent, the result in everything, always um, give my sense and give my yeah my sense with every people in every situation and especially that people say hey letty learn me this one oh i remember letty in in that space and yeah and for me this the everything in my life yes <laughs> very good and you know what um you can never lie to god so might as well be honest with your prayers the good and the bad prayers those are real prayers so god knows everything and so you can lie with him. <laughs> <laughs> that's true so your yeah. prayers your prayers Letty, i just would like to let you know that those are valid and i yeah. can see a very bright future in you so just hang in there and trust the lord okay so all <laughs> right how about you alejandra i just really love speaking your name alejandra Hi. how about you <laughs> if you were to ask god something for someone or for yourself what it would be or who would it be for and why it would be for my dad because he doesn't have a pancreas so oh. it's really really hard to live without a pancreas from 10 people only two live so he was uh blessed that he had the chance to live without one and so he right now he doesn't have a quality life so he, every, almost every day he has pain and yes um i will definitely ask god to give him a pancreas and so he can have a quality life oh my gosh my heart sank <laughs> i'm so <laughs> sorry and you know what I do believe that God continues to heal people. I do believe in supernatural healing, creative healing. And I decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that your dad will have new set of pancreas so that he will live a quality life from this day forward. And for you also, uh, Alejandra, that may the Lord give you all the love, all the love that you need especially for your dad. I love you so much, Alejandro. My heart sank. Oh, I'm you. so sorry. And, th and thank you for sharing that because, you know, um, I, I never heard of someone who has that condition. Can you, can you share us 
more a bit of that story. How did it happen and when did you find out? Well, uh, it was when I was in high school when he he had cancer and in the pancreas. So they had to take it off. But when he was in surgery, it was a 50-50 chance that maybe he will live in the surgery or maybe he would die. So we were like really, really worried about that chance. But he's really strong and that's why he survived that surgery because it's a really hard surgery. Yeah. I swear, it, uh, actually uh, Steve Jobs, he died of, of pancreas, of cancer. Yeah. Pancreas. And he had all the money to make all the surgeries and everything and he died, like he, he didn't make it. So I'm always so grateful that he's still with me and also the doctor told us that when when he had the surgery, the, the doctor told us that he was going to have only like two or three years of life. And he has surpassed that those years. And we've been we've been with him for like eight years. Oh, so, wow. and yeah, he's he's my idol. Um, yeah. Oh, how I wish I was there to give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. I, oh. So you, you, for the both of you, my lines are always open. Um, you can always text me, PM me, you know, D, DM me, especially for you, uh, Alejandra. Uh, if you need prayers for your dad, just call me. Uh, I, will I will wake up. Yeah, and you, Letty, also, if you have any struggles, emotional struggles, uh, because you're a very loving person, you can always hit me up. The both of you, that's what, that's what I'm here for, you know? Uh, the Lord brought me to, to El Salvador, to the both of you, to really uh, spread His light, to be the salt and the light of the world as you're called to be. And for your dad, uh, Alejandro, my heart is for him. Um, I, I, I pray for him. I, I believe and have always have witnessed how the Lord has uh, given his provisions to his children. And uh, his love is limitless. His miracles are limitless. And he will do that. He is the same yesterday and tomorrow and today. And for you, Letty, oh my gosh, may the Lord always shine on you too. You know, for the both of you, you guys are so beautiful and I'm so blessed. And can to always thank you oh thank you okay so before we get, what's that what's that i'm sorry for all for all yeah so before i get emotional let's finish this first <laughs> so okay last question why should you be the next miss universe el salvador who wants to go first okay no one go. okay okay go alejandra <laughs> Well, I feel very proud of my country. I'm proud that I'm, I'm Salvadorian. And I think it's time for the world to know every single corner of El Salvador because it is the smallest country of Central America. But despite of that, the greatness of the, the people, it's amazing, it amazes me every time. And I think it's time that the people get to know the whole country, my whole country, and the beautiful people that lives in it. That's why I, I, I believe so too. <laughs> yes, I believe so too. It's about time for El Salvador. How yes, about you? <laughs> How about you, Letty? Why should you be the next Miss Universe El Salvador? Oh my God! <clears throat> in special is the the most beautiful responsibility that get that crown and and i will and i will and i hope you know you know make the change yeah make the change in every aspect and especially in the environmental aspects you know and and i hope that if i will the next meets universe work on that work with the kids where the my people my country and yeah and make that the salvador sounds bigger around the world yes <laughs> very good so 
Yeah, uh, I believe that it's about time for El Salvador to shine. And El Salvador has been consistently sending beautiful contestants. So why not this year, correct? So anyone, the both of you, can be a good representative of El Salvador. So, okay. So, all right. So we're now down to our last portion. I'm so grateful for the both of you. Um I am so blessed. So before I'll share my words of encouragement and declaration for the both of you, any special messages from your fans in El Salvador or in the Philippines? And I want to hear you speak in Spanish. You can speak in Spanish and English at the same time. So any special messages to your fans from across the globe? Who wants to go first? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Well, hi guys. Thank you so much for watching this live and thank you for all support in this competition. I, we are so grateful for that. And yeah, this is Miss La Libertad and I hope you in the future you will visit this country and los vamos a estar esperando en este hermoso país and we are dancing together. We are it together. That uh -huh. special for right here and Los amamos muchísimo y los queremos. Espera, los esperamos el 13 de agosto en la coronación. Así que, a big kiss for you guys. We love you. Oh, wow. That made me smile. The Spanish part really made me smile. I don't know, but Spanish is so sexy. I don't know why, but it's so full of energy, full of love, full of passion. So, thank you, Leti. Okay, how about you, Alejandra? Um, any words for your fans, for your supporters. Eh, quiero agradecer a todos los que me están apoyando siempre y me mandan mensajes, siempre los leo. Thank you all for all your, all your support. I always read all your messages and I love all the support that you give us to all of us because we, all of us, deserve it. Not only one or two, all of us are amazing. All of us are, going, are, are doing a great job in this and we are working hard. So we all deserve this. So I want to thank all of you for your amazing and big support. And thank you, GM, for having this life with us. I really uh, appreciate it. I loved it that you had the time to give us. Thank you. Oh, and yeah. And thank Gracias to Oh, my God. I, how I wish I took <laughs> Spanish in college. Because like, uh, <laughs> like uh, there's something about the the Latin culture. Well, technically, Philippines Philippines is a, a Latin country. Uh, our, we have a very strong. Yes, we have a. Yes, and yes, yes, and we have a very very strong Latin uh, Spanish influence. Uh, we're both colonized by Spain, and. Even though I look so Chinese, but in in my heart, I was raised with Spanish, our Catholic and Christian values, like the both of you. So, okay, before we go, Letty, you have a very beautiful heart. Continue to do so. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Uh, continue to show love to other people. You spread so much joy and so much love. Don't be afraid to uh, express your love towards other people because that's what makes you special. For you, Alejandra, I know things may have been tough, but the Lord has brought you this far for you, uh, for you to give up, to just give up. So hang in there because He has already made you to the woman that you wanted to become. And uh, I can really sense this um, nurturing heart from you. You just don't know it, but you love taking care of people. So um, continue to do the same things. And I want to bless you with that kind of heart. And for the both of you, you're a blessing to, to mankind. You both are beautiful. Okay, don't let anyone rain on your parade. Continue to let the Lord make you a desirable woman. And focus on the love of the Lord and uh, let, him, uh, let his uh, light and love shine upon you both. So I am so blessed with the both of you. I praise the Lord for you. Um, thank you so much for Lucia Diaz for letting us have this interview. And I'm very excited for the future of El Salvador and our future partnerships with El Salvador. So again, guys, don't forget to support Alejandra and Leti on their bid 
to become the next Miss Universe El Salvador. So their pageant is going to be on August 13, 2022. So any one of these beautiful women could be the next um, Miss Universe El Salvador. So, okay, guys. Oh, my goodness. I hate to end this. It was such a beautiful live <laughs> session. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> How I wish I could fly today and go to yeah. El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> I will come. Um, if you guys are going to come in Manila, let me know. I will let you um, taste Yes, I, I know it's a long travel. It's, I think, you, you'll travel for a day and a half and you're going to have uh, connecting flights anywhere, yes. everywhere. So, <laughs> yeah, so, okay, that's, right. that's it. Um, thank you, Letty. Thank, thank you, Alejandra. Uh, I love you both so much. Again, promise me if anything happens uh, spiritually, emotionally, just uh, call me. DM me, slide me a DM. Uh, Lucia has my number. Ask it from him and we can text. So thank you again, guys. Thank, thank you. you. And uh, thank, thank, you, so much. thank you. Te amo. We love and you. Te amo. One, 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 one. I'll post this live on YouTube next time. And thank you for joining us Perfect. in the brand new G and La Sala show featuring these beautiful candidates from the next, uh, from the 2022 Miss Universe El Salvador beauty pageant. Um, yeah, guys, see you soon. Bye. I hate to end Bye. this, but I don't know how to end this. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Mwah, 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 mwah. Bye. <laughs>